This tutorial is for 5th grade, Module 4, Lesson 16. In this lesson, we're going to use tape diagrams to help us solve two-step problems involving whole numbers and fractions. The first question says Mrs. Wilson made 60 cookies for a bake sale. She sold two-thirds of them and gave three-fourths of the remaining cookies to the students working at the sale. How many cookies did she have left? I'm going to start by writing an answer statement with a blank where the answer goes so I can remember the goal of the question. So I'll say Mrs. Wilson had blank cookies left. Now let's go back to our question. So we know she started with 60 cookies and she sold two-thirds of them. So I'm going to start there. I'm going to draw a tape that represents the 60 cookies. So we have 60 cookies and since she sold two-thirds of them, I'm going to divide the tape into three pieces, each piece being a third. And now I'm going to divide the 60 cookies into the three pieces. Well, if we had six cookies, that would put two in each piece. Since I have 60 cookies, that means I would put 20 cookies in each third. So I have three-thirds, 20 cookies in each third. She sold two-thirds of the cookies, so that would be two of the sections. That's how many she sold. The next part of the question says she gave three-fourths of the remaining cookies to the students. So that's important to notice that it's of the remaining cookies that she gave to the students. So this last piece, this represents the remaining cookies. So I'm going to redraw that tape and show that as 20 cookies and that's the remaining cookies. So we have 20 cookies that are remaining and she gave three-fourths of them to the students. So I'm going to take those 20 cookies and divide them into fourths. That means there are five cookies in each fourth. Since she gave three-fourths of the cookies to the students, that means three of those sections represent the amount she gave to the students. So we'll put those three sections, that's what she gave to the students. Since the question is how many cookies did she have left, this last piece shows me the cookies that were left over. And you can see that Mrs. Wilson had five cookies left. Question number two says, Jonah is icing 30 cupcakes. He spreads mint icing on one-fifth of the cupcakes and chocolate on one-half of the remaining cupcakes. The rest will get vanilla icing. How many cupcakes have vanilla icing? And again, we'll start by writing our answer statement. I'll say blank cupcakes get vanilla icing. And we're going to start with 30 cupcakes. So I'll draw a tape representing the 30 cupcakes. So there's my 30 cupcakes. I know that one-fifth of the cupcakes get the mint icing. So I'll take the 30 cupcakes and divide that bar into five sections, each section representing a fifth. And since I have 30 cupcakes, five sections, I know that six cupcakes will go into each section. And therefore, one-fifth, or six cupcakes, will have the mint icing. The next part says, one-half of the remaining cupcakes will have the chocolate. Well, this part of the tape would be the remaining cupcakes. And I'm going to redraw that down below. Since there's four sections with six in each section, I now have 24 cupcakes that are left. And half of those 
we'll get chocolate icing. So if I split the 24 in half, that means 12 will get the chocolate icing. And the leftovers will get the vanilla icing. Well, this has to be 12, so that means there are 12 cupcakes that get the vanilla icing. This question says, Dennis sorted his rack collection. Two-thirds of the racks are metamorphic, and three-fourths of the remainder are igneous racks. If the three racks left over are sedimentary, how many racks does Dennis have? So you can see this is a different sort of question because we don't know how many racks we have at the beginning. So we're going to have to work backwards on this question. I will start by writing my answer statement. The question says, how many racks does Dennis have? We'll just say Dennis has blank racks. Now, since we don't know how many racks he has at the start, we're going to have to start with the remainder. We know 3 fourths of the remainder are igneous racks. So I'm going to start with my remaining piece. So I have a piece, and this is the remainder. I'm going to divide it into four sections because three-fourths of the remainder are the igneous racks. I also know the three racks that are left over are sedimentary. That means this last section represents the three racks that are sedimentary. So there's my remainder. Three-fourths are igneous, and three racks are sedimentary. Well, if this section for the sedimentary racks is three, that means each of these also is three. Now let's go back to our problem. It says two-thirds of the racks are metamorphic. So if I go back to my hole, and break it into thirds, two-thirds are metamorphic. This remainder has to fit into this third section. So all my remainder, this whole section, is one-third of the whole. Since there are 12 rocks in my remainder, that means there are 12 rocks in this third. And if there are 12 racks here, there's 12 racks in each section of the hole. And now we can see that Dennis had 36 racks to begin with. Now, the nice part about this is we can work back through the question from the start and see that it makes sense. So this it, the question says two thirds of the rack are metamorphic. So if I have 36, two sections, or two-thirds, represent the metamorphic. I take my remainder, which was 12, and break it into four equal pieces, because three-fourths of the remainder are igneous. So that represents that part of the remainder. And then the leftover three rocks are sedimentary. So that works when we work through the problem forward. Now we just have to fill in our answer. This means Dennis has 36 rocks.